Okay, starting with linear equations. Now, why do we call these as linear equations? An equation like this, say 2x plus 3 is equal to 5, x plus 2 is equal to 7. These are all called linear equations because they are straight lines like these. They could be straight lines like this. That is, if you find out the value of x and try to plot a graph of it, say for example, you have 2x plus 3 is equal to 5. This means 2x is equal to 5 minus 3, 2. x is equal to 1. So if x is equal to 1 on a graph sheet, here it will be 1. This means that the value of x is always 1. It doesn't matter what the value of y is. So this means on this line, there is a line like this parallel to the y-axis in which on any point on this line has the x coordinate as 1. So we call this line as x is equal to 1. But we see that it is a line. So if you plot all the points whose x coordinates are 1, you will get a straight line. And that's why it's called a linear equation. Okay. Similarly, this thing, this one is turning out to be x is equal to 7 minus 2, which is 5. So this will be a line passing through 5 comma 0, again parallel to the x-axis. So this is a linear equation. Suppose you have a simultaneous linear equation, as we said, 2x plus 3y is equal to 7. If you try to plot these lines, you will get a line like this, cutting the x and y axis. Various values of x and y could possibly satisfy. For example, x is 2 and if you take y as say 1. So 2 to the 4 plus 3 and you get 7. So 2 comma 1 would be here. Say maybe 2 comma 1 is here. So it will pass through this. So this line would pass through 2 comma 1 and maybe three. Uh, if you take uh, x as 0, you will get, if you take x as 0, you get y as 7 by 3. So it could pass through 0, 7 by 3. So if you plot join these two points, you'll get a line like this. So this is why this is also called a linear equation. This is different from this because this is a linear equation in one variable. This is a linear equation in two variables. The shape of the line could be different. But both these, if you graphically represent them, if you graphically represent them, their graphical representation is a straight line. That's why they call linear equations. Then we have quadratic equations. Say something like this, x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. We call it as a quadratic equation because it is of degree 2. As mentioned earlier, degree means the maximum exponent, the biggest exponent of the unknown or the variable. From now onwards, we won't call it unknown, we will call it a variable. The maximum power to which the variable has been raised, this is x raised to 1, this is x squared. So we call it as x squared plus 5x plus 6 is a quadratic equation. Right? But if you have something like this, say x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equal to x into x minus 7. Is this a quadratic equation? We will have to simplify and see. So we have x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equal to x squared minus 7x. But here x squared gets eliminated and what you have is actually 5x plus 7x is equal to 6. That means 12x is equal to 6. So this is actually a linear equation because the x squared term is getting cancelled. So just looking at the equation, we can't just predict that it is a linear equation. We need to simplify the equation and then find out what it ultimately culminates into and then decide what type of an equation it is. So that is a quadratic equation. Then you have a cubic equation. A cubic equation has the variable, the unknown, raised to power 3. So something like this, 3x cubed plus 5x is equal to 7, which means the maximum power to which the variable has been raised. The degree of this particular equation, which is the maximum power to which the variable has been raised, is 3. So we have 3x cubed plus 5x is equal to 7. Right? So this is more specific about the various types of equations.